Hi friends, Father Scott again. In our gospel reading today, Jesus says to uh, the uh, people that have come to him looking for signs, keep asking him for signs. He says, this generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. Now, this is a little bit strange saying from Jesus, because doing signs is what Jesus has been doing all along. He's been healing people and performing other miracles and, and showing the power of God by signs, by miracles. So why does he say that this generation will not receive a sign? Well, it's not because Jesus hasn't done the signs, but because those who are challenging him refuse to see the signs because of their uh, preconceived notions of who Jesus, who the Messiah should be. They're unable to see the signs of, of his uh, sonship uh, when he does them. He's not what they expect, and so they don't even see him. Brothers and sisters in Christ, May God help us to have hearts and minds that are open to see all the ways that God shows himself in the world. And he does show himself everywhere. Predominantly, he shows himself through his son, Jesus Christ. And the testimony that we have of that revelation found in sacred scripture and in the teaching of the church. But also, when we look around us and see the beauty of uh, of the world. It's a sign of God's presence and of his goodness. And even when we look around and we see the things that are not so good about the world, those themselves are challenges to us to get closer to God, to seek his will more, and to um, use the means that he's given to us, the sacraments and the teaching of the church, to use all of the good things that he's given to us to make this world a better place. All of the gifts that God gives to us are given to us to be used for each other, not just for ourselves. And so may God help us to see all of the ways that God comes to us. May God help us to see the signs of his presence, the signs of his call, the signs of his challenge to us to grow in holiness and goodness as we love him and love our neighbor. God bless you, and I'll be talking to you again soon.